Okay, this video is uh, part two uh, in a series of videos on the orthogonality of Bessel functions. Um, in part one, we proved uh, the first part of uh, uh, this uh, orthogonality formula for Bessel functions, where alpha and beta are roots or zeros of uh, the Bessel function Jn. Uh, in this video, we're going to prove uh, this uh, second part of uh, that formula. So we're going to prove that the integral from 0 to 1 of uh, Jn squared of alpha t dt, this is equal to Jn plus 1 squared of uh, alpha. So that's... Uh, uh, the uh, objective uh, of uh, this uh, video to prove uh, this. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do is uh, we're going to make a transformation. We're going to let rho be equal to alpha t. Um, when we do that, uh, then our integral is going to be transformed uh, as uh, follows. Uh, then we're going to have so integral from 0 to 1 uh, is going to be equal to 1 over alpha squared is not going to be integral from 0 to alpha uh, then uh, this is going to be rho jn squared of rho uh, d rho so that's uh, what uh, the uh, our integral is going to uh, look like now and uh, the um, the Bessel uh, differential equation uh, under this transformation is going to look uh, as follows so we're going to have rho squared Jn double prime plus rho Jn prime um, plus we are going to have rho squared minus n squared Jn. Okay, now then, um, so this is equal to zero, sorry about that. We're going to multiply this thing uh, by <clears throat> 2 times Jn prime. Okay, so we're going to multiply by 2 times Jn prime. So the first term is now going to be rho squared Jn prime. Uh, there's a 2 there j n double prime second term is going to be um, two rho uh, j n prime squared and then the last term is going to be rho squared minus n squared two times j n j n prime okay um now notice that um, these two terms are actually uh, an exact derivative of rho squared jn prime squared. What am I saying? I'm saying we differentiate this we are going to get these two terms. Let's see how this works. If you, by the product rule, if you differentiate rho squared, you're going to get 2 rho jn prime squared, which is this term here. Uh, if you keep this one fixed, differentiate this one, we're going to multiply by 2, uh, subtract 1, so it's going to be jn prime. Then differentiate this, it's going to be jn double prime. Similarly, this is a derivative of uh, Jn squared. I'll ju just uh, show that in a moment. Um, so this is the 
derivative of jn squared because uh, if you're differentiating jn squared you multiply by 2 subtract 1 here and then you multiply by the derivative so this is just a derivative of jn squared so what's going to happen is we are going to bring together this term with these ones because those are just derivatives so we're going to have rho squared jn prime squared minus n squared jn squared okay then this term rho squared um so this term is going to remain here uh so jn squared prime equal to zero however notice what happens if we differentiate rho squared jn squared okay If we differentiate the rho squared, it's going to give us 2 rho jn squared. Then if we differentiate the jn squared, it's going to give us 2 rho squared uh, j. Mm, let me just write it like this. So if we keep this fixed and differentiate this one, it's going to be rho squared jn squared prime. And of course, this term is exactly this one here. Okay. So, what is this saying? This is saying if we added this term in this setup here, then we could have this as an exact derivative. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to add uh, 2 rho jn squared on both sides. Okay. So, then our equation is going to look like this. So derivative of rho squared j prime squared minus n squared j n squared prime plus rho squared j squared prime plus 2 rho j n squared. So we're adding this on both sides. And then this is now an exact derivative. Okay. So <clears throat> we are now going to have uh, rho squared j n prime squared minus n squared j n squared prime plus. So this is now going to be a prime term as well. So prime to rho j n squared. And so we can absorb this into the square brackets as well. So this is now going to look uh, like this. So rho squared j prime j n prime squared plus rho squared minus n squared j n squared so the first term is this one now okay and then derivative of everything here this is equals to 2 rho j n squared okay so now that we have the um left hand side as an exact derivative we are now in position to integrate so we're gonna integrate from zero to alpha so integrate uh from zero to alpha so this side is just going to be um, this side is just going to be 
I'm gonna bring this to uh, this side so it's just gonna be rho squared j n prime squared rho squared minus n squared j n squared 0 to alpha and then on the right hand side we're gonna have integral from 0 to alpha rho j n squared zero, which is uh, the integral we're looking for uh, okay now um the the expression on the left hand side is going to be zero mm, no it's not actually going to be zero um so let's work uh, through this okay um Let's start with the law limit, okay? When uh, um, rho is equal to zero, uh, this term is going to be zero. Yeah, this term is going to be zero. Uh, it's just going to be this term here. The question is, what is the value of j n at zero? Um, okay, when n is 0, that's going to be 0, and n is different from 0. So uh, the question is, what is this equal to when n is not equal to 0? Okay, um, the, from, from this uh, recurrence relation, okay, we can write two new j new is equals to t uh, times this okay then if t is equal to zero <clears throat> so two new j new of zero is going to be zero times this okay um so the right hand side is just going to be zero um, <clears throat> so if new is different from zero then that tells us that j new is going to be equal to zero so basically j n of zero is going to be zero when n is different from zero Okay, so that means uh, at the lower um, at the lower limit, this term is also going to be zero. Okay, then at the uh, limit uh, rho is alpha, uh, that's just going to be alpha squared j n prime squared at uh, alpha. Uh, this one, remember alpha is uh, the um, zero this one is going to be zero at all times because j n of alpha is zero so the only term that's going to survive is this one at uh, the end rho is equal to alpha so what this thing is telling us is that the integral from zero to alpha of rho j n squared of rho Row. So this is going to be one half j n prime squared of alpha. Okay. But then um, that doesn't seem to look like the result we are looking for because this is the result we're looking for. Okay. So we're going to need a um, an identity to work with that sorry there is a, there is also there is also alpha squared uh, in this expression because we're plugging in uh, rho is alpha here so it's one half alpha squared j n prime uh, squared of that okay so we're just gonna need to work this out now um from the uh, recurrence relation um, so there is uh, this recurrence relation uh, that says j 
new uh, prime is equal to new over t j new minus j new plus one of t okay so this one is uh, from is is derived from this recurrence relation um it's from that so that's going to be plus one there okay now um if we plug in t is equal to alpha here okay so t equals to alpha that's going to be um and instead of new i'm going to use n it's going to be j n prime of alpha n over alpha j n of alpha n plus one of alpha but since alpha is a zero then um, this first term here is going to be zero so at uh, rho is equal to alpha what is happening is that j n prime is simply equal to negative j n plus one okay so if we square both sides so this tells us that this is equal to the square of that so we're going to go back here and we can replace j n prime squared by <clears throat> So this is going to be one half alpha squared j n plus one squared of alpha. Okay. Um, then if you recall that in the expression that we were working with, there was that one over alpha squared. So this is ultimately telling us that um, so therefore the integral from 0 to 1 j n of alpha t squared dt is 1 over alpha squared times 1 half alpha squared j n plus 1 squared of alpha which is equal to 1 half jn plus 1 squared of alpha which is the required result all right okay thanks for watching um hopefully this has been useful uh please don't forget to subscribe uh, at the bottom there to support thank you